So, uh, you know, here locally in Indiana, uh, you know, I know last night we had some of the thunder and, right. and we're still getting some some more rain, but nothing, of course, compared to what the folks down south are dealing with. No, and yeah. you know, now this storm is moving into Tennessee. We want to go live to New Orleans, by the way. The problem in New Orleans and really that whole end of, of Louisiana is the power outages. Um, a million people still, if you count what's in Mississippi and Alabama, and Louisiana without power. Now, the lights that you see there probably generated by generators, like in hospitals and hotels and so forth. For us, we're keeping an eye on the remnants of Ida, which are moving up to the north. This is a storm that will miss us, causing some issues in Iowa, but uh, Ida will swing up to the north. The latest uh, numbers will come in at about 5 o'clock this morning, but as of 2 a.m., this is downgraded to a deep area of low pressure about 30 miles per hour moving through Tupelo. It will go through Huntsville kicking this rain up. Notice this line of rain and thunderstorms this afternoon in Indy. Most of the rain will be well to our south, the heavier stuff. In fact, the Weather Service just put out a statement for the potential for excessive rainfall in southeastern Indiana later today. So we'll watch that. In the meantime, look at all those flash floods. Let me go back to that. That went too fast. Look at all these flash flood watches. Mississippi, all the way into Boston. I mean, this is a huge area that is expected to get a lot of rain. Now here, we're keeping our eye on visibility because the fog is out there this morning. Lafayette, Greencastle, Bloomington with one mile visibility. We're pretty much okay here in Indy. And temperatures uh, finally back down into the 60s. 69 here, Kokomo 66, Bloomington 68. And as we start to see this transition today, we are going to have some pleasant air that will start to move in here, especially tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. We'll keep the super heat uh, for the Labor Day weekend well out to our west, which is a good thing. So this morning we're in the 60s. Watch out for fog in some spots. This afternoon we are expecting rain and some thunderstorms, especially from Interstate 70 South and only 77 degrees for a high today. Uh, yesterday we were up to 81. We do have this scattered chance throughout the afternoon and then tomorrow this drier air is going to punch in here. I did want to focus though on the next few hours as we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms but then high pressure moves in and keeps us clear. We'll slow that down and go hour by hour in the next half hour for you but suffice it to say that we're going to stay in the 70s the next few days. We do have those scattered thunderstorms today. Humidity starts to drop a bit tomorrow and a lot Thursday. In fact, look at Thursday and Friday mornings back down into the 50s and then we'll warm up uh, to 84 degrees on uh, Sunday and Labor Day, a high of 82, keeping it mainly dry, Karen, once we get past today.